Hi, and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. On this episode, we're going to continue continue our cocktail series, and we are going to be making a Milan mule out of the Pools Diner cookbook. Um, this requires a little advance work because you're making a jalapeno ginger syrup. Um, so that's our first step. And I was gonna show you how to peel ginger. I think I used ginger on a recent recipe and did not show you how to peel it. So I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. We're gonna roughly chop this so I don't really care. Um, it'll be easier to peel if I have sort of pieces that don't have little arms yet. And we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna roughly chop it so I can do that first, just to make my life a little bit easier on the peeling. Um, so all you really need to do to peel ginger is to use a spoon and I'm going to peel it onto this paper towel just so that I uh, don't have mess all over the place. And you just sort of scrape it off with the spoon. It comes off very easily. Um, and you just do that until it is entirely peeled. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna chop it up and I'm gonna put it into my pan where I have already the sugar uh, measured. And then we're gonna deal with a jalapeno. So let me get this done and we'll be back in just a minute. So the uh, peeling part you know, it's, it's quite a bit of ginger to peel, so my uh, assistant came in to help me for a minute, but we got it all peeled, and now I'm just chopping it up roughly and adding it into the pan with my uh, sugar. And now, because I have to deal with a jalapeno, I'm gonna put on gloves because I don't like to touch my face or my eyes or whatever um, <laughs> with my hands after this and because then it hurts because they're spicy and get stuff on your hands. Um, this is about twice as big as I need so I am going to only use about half of it. Uh, she says to only remove about half of the seeds. I don't like my anything super spicy, so yeah, I think that's about half. So I'm gonna try not to put any seeds in this, but um, I'll leave in a little bit of the, the ribs, which is also kind of spicy. I'm just gonna slice this up. And put it in with our ginger. And the only th other thing that goes in here is water. It's equal parts water and sugar, um, like a simple syrup. Use those a lot for drinks, so we tend to keep a plain simple syrup on hand, but it'll last a while in the refrigerator. And I'm just gonna de-seed this while I have my gloves on to put it in the refrigerator. Oh, so I'm probably not gonna show you this part. We bring this to a boil and simmer it for 30 minutes. And let's see. Yep, so we bring it to a boil, we simmer it for 30 minutes, and then you take it off of the stove, you let it, um, you strain it through a fine mesh sieve, and then you're done with this. We'll show you that part when we get to it, but I'm not gonna show you the simmering it for 30 minutes, that's gonna be boring. So um, we'll be back when it's all done. I just want to take a quick video to show you what it looks like when I've got it simmering. It is just sort of barely simmering. I don't want it to really reduce or anything. I just want to infuse the flavor. I uh, misled you a little bit earlier. So we do, we did have to simmer this for half an hour on the stove, but then you also let it sit for another half hour off of the heat before you strain it. So it's now been an hour and we are ready to strain and I just have measuring cup here because it'll be easier to pour out. And I know that my fine mesh strainer fits right into it. So I'm just going to strain out the solids. Um, that's one of the reasons I wasn't super picky about the, um, the ginger 
skin, making sure we got every single bit of it off because we're just straining it out. So there we go. We have our jalapeno ginger syrup for our Milan mule. Uh, but we do need to chill this completely before we use it. So I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and we'll come back and make the drink tomorrow. All right, I have my recipe right here for the Milan mule that we're going to make from the syrup we made yesterday. It's been chilling in the uh, refrigerator, so we're good for this now. Um, and I'm going to pay very careful attention to the amounts because I will probably get it wrong if I don't. So already um, I have uh, a shaker and I'm going to do this in the glass part so you can see, but we're going to muddle some basil leaves. Um, mine kind of went a little meh. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to deal with that amount right now. Um, and just sort of, this is called a muddler, but you can use the back of a wooden spoon, she says, like the handle of a wooden spoon or, or whatever. You just kind of want to get it broken up a little bit to get the flavor in there. So there we go. That's probably good. Now I'm going to measure all the ingredients into the glass. And so I've got, um... A little jigger that has measurements on both sides for different things. So I'm gonna be using both sides, so that's gonna be fun. And I'm probably gonna spill my lemon juice. This is lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Awesome. Almost an entire lemon. And yes, I did spill. Oh well. And then we have the syrup that we made. Let me measure that. And this had ginger and jalapeno in a simple syrup is basically what this is. And she specifically calls for Tito's vodka for this. That's what we usually have in the house anyway. So. Um, okay. There we go. And then I've got some ice in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour into there. Whatever. And shake it up. I'm not gonna do this one-handed because I will drop it or and my drink will go, go all over the place. All right, and I forgot to get my glass. I think I'm supposed to do this a different way. Yes, yes I am. I've made a huge mess. I usually make my husband make my drinks. Oh well, let me clean this up a little bit and get my glass. So I got my glass. I've got a nice fancy ice cube, one large cube. Um, they're much easier than the spheres and they still provide the same kind of job. And I got my strainer because you're supposed to strain this out, I assume, so you can uh, not get the muddled bits of basil. Uh, I still left some of them in there, but all right. And then you garnish with another basil leaf. Mine, like I said, we waited a little bit too long, got a little bit manky, but it's still pretty. And there is my drink. Let you know how it is. On this episode of Cooking the Books with Heather, you watched me make the Milan Mule from the Pool's Diner Cookbook. It's a cocktail in the cocktail section uh, with vodka and jalapeno ginger syrup. I was a little afraid that it might be kind of spicy and I'm not a huge fan of spice. I like the flavor of the of a chili, but when it gets too hot, I can't really taste anything else. This is not that. Um, I, I did leave out more of the seeds than she said, 
but I can taste the jalapeno for sure. I can taste the ginger. I can taste the basil. It's sweet enough without being too sweet. Um, it's a really good drink. In fact, I'm, I'm glad that we have quite a lot of this syrup left over and we can have more of these. So if you are into cocktails, if you like jalapeno and ginger, if you like the flavor, even if you don't like the spice, you can sort of tailor the spice level when you put your jalapenos in, whether you take out all of the seeds like I did or leave half of them in like she suggests. Um, I think if you like those flavors, you will love this drink. It was awesome. So thanks for watching me uh, make this this week. And if you liked watching me make it, come back and watch me make something else. Thank you.